Okay, so this is a video for people who miss Tuesday, August 22nd. It's the infiltration lab set up in Google Sheets. So basically, you're going to go here. Infiltration, I spelled that wrong. I need to fix that. Infiltration lab set up. And yours is going to look, mine's going to look different than yours. You're going to keep clicking the link, link, link. Then you're going to tell it to set up your Google Sheet. And it's going to set up a Google Sheet for you in your Google Drive, your school Google Drive, that looks like this. Once you've set this up, every time you want to go back to this, let's say we work on it again today, and then we work on it again on Wednesday, then you go uh, right back to that lesson, go to that, and it'll take you right to the sheet. Or you can go into your Google Drive and access it directly from the Google Drive. Okay. So Google Sheets is a, a lab data analysis tool, or I shouldn't say just lab data, any data. It can take enormous amounts of data, which you'll see as we do other labs, enormous amounts of data and do calculations on it, graph it, do statistical analysis, average it, sum it, you name it. It is incredibly powerful. By the time you finish this class, you will be an expert. Okay, so basically, let's look at where we're headed, and then we can look at what we're going to do today. So basically, this is going to be sort of a formal lab setup. You've got a title, a date, a guiding question. Actually, it's called a scientific uh, research question, so we're going to change that. Hypothesis, you've got a whole bunch of data. We're going to graph that data, make a nice little bar chart, and then you're going to answer some questions right into this lab. And you're going to submit this. It's going to go right into Canvas, and I will be able to look at that. Now, all of this that you see right now um, is going to go on this page. If you go down to the bottom, the way that Sheets does this, I have one, two, three, four pages to this lab or four sheets. This is where the lab write-up the, the, that I just showed you is going to go. All your work is going to go on this page. These are your instructions for day one. These are your instructions for day two. Actually, we probably won't be doing that. It's too hot. And these are our instructions for day three. So let's go back to the write-up. Now, the way Google Sheets is set up, it is each one of these cells is like an independent little area. You can either type words or you can type letters. And you can see this here in this data that I've already put in there but you don't want to put both. So instead of putting units on our numbers, what we're doing here, this is time in seconds. So I put time divided by seconds. So that makes this number unitless, but I can look at what my units are at the top of each column, but we never want to mix letters with numbers. Um, and so we're going to look at some tricks and things like that on how to use this. Now, if I want to type in words, so I want to type in, let's just start from the very beginning. We'll look at all of these, this toolbar as we go along. I found that's the best way to do it. We'll cover all of these tools, but we're going to do it step by step. Okay, so let's go back to our key. And what we want to do is we want to incorporate this verbiage here. And then we're also going to have a conclusion, which has verbiage here. Now with Google Sheets, if I go up here and I start typing, it's going to do this. And then it's going to do this. It will end up typing one on top of the other. So what we're going to do is we are going to incorporate, if you have a lot of words or things you need to write, we're going to tackle this in a different way. So let's go to instructions for day one. The instructions are is going to give you a little bit of a background. You can read this. So we have, we took some infiltration rates um, of how fast water will go into the soil in inches per hour. That's the literature value. In my instructions, what I basically want to do today is create my title, my date, my scientific question, my hypothesis, my data, my data analysis, and my conclusion. Okay, so let's do that. So the first thing it says is we're going to create a title for the lab. Now, I've given you a title. Now, we can't just type in a cell, right? 
So what we're going to do instead of typing in a cell is we are going to do the equivalent of a text box. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to insert and I'm going to put drawing. The drawing is going to create this and it's be going to become like a big old text box. But I got to tell it to accept text. So when I go up here, I'm going to click text box and I'm going to start here. I want to bold it and I'm going to write title. Now, what's my title? So if I save and close, there it is. Let's go to day one and look at what my title is. It says here, now if I double click on this, if you double click, you can go in and out of the text boxes. So if I double click, it says the title is infiltration rates of a tiger prairie site with native vegetation versus a site with turf grass. That's my title. So I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna save and close and I'm gonna go back to my lab write up. I'm gonna double click on this guy and I'm gonna put that in here. Control V and there I've got it. I would like these bolded just because they're kind of easier to see. So there I have it, all right? What's the next thing? So I'm gonna save and close and you can see I'm building this on here and now it just covers the cells. That works really well. The next thing I want is I want a date. So we're just gonna type this because it's pretty easy. So let's go back up here, double click. We're gonna click like this and I'm going to do date. And this is August 22nd, 2023. Okay. And save and close. What's my next thing I want to do? The next thing I want to do is my guiding question. I'm actually going to call this something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this. Um, I am going to take my question. I'm going to just highlight, copy, save and close. Let's go back to lab write up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call it what it is called in College Board, which is a scientific question. And then I'm going to hit control V and there I've got it. And I'm going to bold that. Now, if I want to, I can make this longer and that way I'm not taking up quite so much space. Um, and that looks good. In fact, let's make sure all of this is bolded like that. Okay. Now a scientific question is a question. We were talked about this which talks about, gives you the direction. It gives you the foundation. It is your curiosity. What's happening here? It's your idea. Does this, is this gonna work? Can I do this? Can prairie vegetation improve water filtration? I'm gonna save and close that. And then last but not least is the hypothesis. Sorry about that. So we're gonna go back here. I'm going to go to this, I'm gonna double click. Oops, wrong thing there. I'm gonna go to my hypothesis. I am going to copy that. I'm gonna go back up to lab write up, double click. And I'm gonna type hypothesis, control V. Now, you need to guess. I'm going to give you a chance right now to guess. What do you think right now is going to happen? If prairie vegetation is added to a green space, then infiltration of water will be greater or less than an area with turf grass. You decide what you're going to do. Remember that you are not going to be graded on whether your hypothesis was correct. If your hypothesis is not correct, but you figure out that it's not correct, that's fantastic that's totally fine. All right. So now I've got all the different, the introduction to my formal lab. I can move this around a little bit and there you have it. We've got our title, our date, our scientific question, and our hypothesis. 
what we're going to do now, and we might, I guess we can do this now as well. We're, next part we're going to do, I'm going to add this to it, is data. And then um, we'll stop here. You already have the data put in here. So this is our data. And what we'll do is we will uh, do our data analysis on Thursday.